quick hitters of the day. Arky, what are you looking to in your quick hitter? Ah, uh, the Frisco Football Classic, also known as... Let's go. Wait, Frisco gets another game? Uh, so Frisco just literally had uh, a, a game like 72 hours ago, it felt like. And now they get another bowl game as the um, shabbily put together uh, of the Frisco game uh, that was just put together, I think, like two weeks ago. Uh, gets uh, North Texas taking on the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks. And this game is fascinating for one reason for me and one reason only and that's to be able to uh, watch another MAC team lose in the bowl game. The MAC teams <laughs> are terrible for whatever reason in the bowl games. It's been semi-traditional for them but they're 0-4 to start this season in bowl games and I don't think it gets going any better against North Texas. North Texas is a much better team than people probably paid attention to this entire season. Uh, North Texas has surprised me a lot, um, and North Texas, I think, is going to surprise some people as they're the two-and-a-half-point dogs uh, in this game again in a lovely wherever FC Dallas plays. So I am excited for this game because it's this afternoon's game, right? It's the first football game we get to watch today. So I will be fully invested uh, in this game. I think North Texas wins this thing outright again. Another underdog that I think is going to be able to win, and the underdogs have been doing really, really, really well. Missouri covered, by the way. Uh, you, you, even though that they lost, you're probably not happy about that, but they did cover the six Thank and you. a half uh, last night. The underdogs, again, it's all about motivation <laughs> and who steps up to the plate when you get these extra 15 practices. And I think North Texas is motivated. North Texas had to go on a big winning streak at the end of the season to be able to get to a bowl game. They're the hot team right now. And I want to make sure I get his name right. Uh, yeah, DeAndre Torrey is the guy I want you to pay attention to tonight. He's a 5'7 running back for North Texas who's got over 1,400 uh, rushing yards. Uh, he's got 14 touchdowns on the season. And he's a little guy. He's an itty-bitty guy. He's 5'7, 190 pounds. Like, he's a itty-bitty fast guy who's got an all-freshman offensive lineman uh, in front of him and another couple of good uh, guys on, his, on the right side that are going to be great, I think, today. So North Texas, I don't think, is getting a lot of love because people aren't paying attention enough to North Texas. And North Texas has sort of always been this team from Denton that no one else wants to sort of uh, give any kind of respect to, except for me here today. So give me North Texas money line. What did a fan do have them at? Plus 116. So it's not a huge uh, upset if it happens, but I do think they win this game. I mean, North Texas, they're 9-3 and three against the spread, for crying out loud. Like, they're a competitive, good football team. So give me North Texas straight up win. More dogs barking on the show here today. By the way, I used your dog stat from bowl games over the weekend in the, what was it, the UTSA SDSU game. It didn't hit, but I used yeah. it anyway. Yeah, uh, <laughs> San Diego State, uh, they definitely were motivated after after losing the uh, the Mountain West Championship hardcore. So they a uh, good win for them. But I like, I like it. I like that you're taking the dogs. I'm all about it. All right, my quick hitter is going to be in the NFL. One of two Christmas Day games. Arky, I know you touched on this game earlier in the week on Monday's show, but I'm going to revisit it because I think uh, slash hope it'll be a good one. The Colts, who are 8-6, and 4-2 and two on the road, will take on the Arizona Cardinals, who are 10-4, and 3-3 three and three at home. By the way, weren't the Cardinals the ones who hadn't won a home game, like, at the beginning of the season? They were 0-3 at home or something? Well, well yeah, up until a couple of weeks ago, their only losses were at home. Yes. Right. They had won, up until they lost to Detroit, all the, they they've been undefeated on the on the road. So yeah. All right. Yeah, I thought that was the case. So Arizona, obviously doing better at home now, uh, sitting atop the NFC West with the Rams, while the Colts are second in the AFC South, one game behind the Titans. Right now, Arizona is the one and a half point favorite with a total of forty eight and a half. All righty. Well, first off, the Cardinals have only one player in COVID protocols right now, and the Colts have just two. So how great for them. As for the game, the Colts certainly feel like the hotter team right now and are very tempting for me to take as the Dogs, having now won five of their last six, including their last game over the Patriots last weekend, and with uh, putting an end to the Patriots' seven-game win streak. So that was kind of impressive. Arizona, on the other hand, has split their last six, going three and three, and are coming off back-to-back -back losses, their most recent being against the Lions, 30-12. to So yes, the Cardinals have lost my trust a bit, but maybe this week they can turn it around. One of the bigger challenges in this game will be trying to slow down Indy's offensive weapon that is Jonathan Taylor, who ranks first in carries at 270, first in yards at over 1,500, and in touchdowns at 17. 
The good news for the Cardinals is they rank ninth in DVOA against the run this season. Both quarterbacks are having the same season numbers-wise. However, in their last game with the Patriots, Wentz was just 5 of 12 for 57 yards and one touchdown. He will have to step it up going against Kyler Murray on Saturday. Indy is 9-5 and five against the spread this year, and the Cardinals are also 9-5. and five. The Colts, by the way, are 5-3 and three against the spread when going in as the one-point dog. So I do like that. Arizona has hit this total of 49 and a half in seven games this year, and the Colts have done it in six. This game, in my opinion, Arky, is one of the harder ones that we've had to bet on all season. Um, I'm going to go with my gut, and I'm going to take a chance on the Colts here at plus one and a half, even though that spread is so close. I don't love it. I know the Cardinals are due for a win, plus they are at home, but as we know, that doesn't really matter for them. Um, as far as the total, I would lean the over, but I won't be playing it. So I'm just going to take the Colts plus one and a half. Yeah, I, I, I can see this. Like in the NFL, the big thing to worry about and to pay attention to when you're betting is uh, the number and the spot of the game. And this is a spot where you get a big emotional hangover possibly from, uh, from Indianapolis after not only getting this winning streak going, but beating Indianapolis for the first time in nine tries. And then you got Arizona, who was feeling really good about themselves until now they got back-to-back losses, including one on the road to Detroit. So maybe this looks like a good bounce-back spot for Arizona and maybe a good, uh, a, a, a good spot for an emotional down spot for, uh, for Indianapolis. But, I mean, I could see Indianapolis winning this, especially since they were able to win without Carson Wentz being any good last week. So, right. Yeah, yeah. This game could go either way. Toss-up. Yeah. I can see it's tough. It is a tough one.